Hey, this is Adam with Sumitomo Drive Technologies, and on today's video, we're going to go over the installation of the shrink disc, which is another option for a keyless shaft locking device for our gearboxes as well as many others. So this will help you install them, and some, we'll go over some do's and don'ts when uh, you when you are installing them for a proper installation. Always remember when working with equipment like this, you always want to wear your proper PPE, whether it's safe steel toe boots, safety glasses, gloves, and depending on your location, your electrical lockout, tag out procedures. So here are the tools we'll be using today. The most important tool being the torque wrench and a good degreaser and a clean rag. Using the clean rag and the degreaser, clean the shaft extension on the reducer as well as the shaft extension on the driven equipment. This will make sure the shrink disc clamps properly and allows proper torque transmission. Once the components are clean and dry, you can go ahead and mount the reducer onto the driven shaft. Again, we always want to make sure we're wearing the proper PPE for procedures like this. You want to slide the reducer all the way on the shaft, making sure the shaft extension reaches the end of the shaft extension of the reducer. As shown here, the shaft extension would be too short. This is for demonstration purposes only. You'll want the driven shaft to extrude or at a very minimum meet the end of the extension on the reducer. This will allow for 100% torque transmission. Next you want to tighten down the torque arm attachment bolt to the piece of equipment. Once it's tight, we can go ahead and proceed with the shrink disc mounting. Here you want to make sure all the mounting bolts are loose on the shrink disc and the two plates can move freely. Once that's confirmed, we can mount it onto the extended shaft of the reducer. Position the shrink disc close to the center of the shaft extension as possible. This will make sure it's evenly applying pressure around the driven shaft as well as the hub of the reducer. Using the correct size socket, we're going to tighten the shrink disc bolts down in a circular pattern. Not a star pattern, a circular pattern. If a star pattern is used, it could lead to premature failure of the shrink disc and not proper torque transmission. A circular pattern must be used. Make a few passes tightening, tightening evenly around. This will ensure even clamping. Next, using a torque wrench set to the specified torque for the size shrink disc you're using, torque down the bolts in the same circular pattern. It's usually recommended that we do two steps of torque. So if the final torque is, say, 80 inch-pounds, do the first step at 40 inch-pounds and the final step at 80 inch-pounds. This torque spec is critical, and make sure you're reading the correct one for the correct size shrink disc, because if you over torque it, these bolts will break as a safety mechanism to protect the shrink disc. So make sure the, pro the torque wrench is set to the correct torque. Inch pounds, foot pounds, etc. 